Hi everyone, this is Andrew at Plainview Farm and the cows have all gathered up here this morning at the fence to uh, officially inform me that they are ready for some more grass. So come along and we'll pull up a, another strand of poly wire and, and give them a little bit more of what we got stockpiled. Gonna need this reel if I can get it to unhook from the gate. Got a few tread in posts here. I'm coming, I'm coming. Would you all calm down? I'm giving you what you want. All right, so we've got to walk all the way over there to the other end. Old Samson's standing over there by the fence keeping the neighbor's heifers company. Yeah, but he wants grass too. Look at him come. We're gonna walk right down here. Yeah, come on. We're gonna walk right down here to where we currently are hooked up to the fence, where we've pulled off. And we're gonna pull a second strand. So the electric fence is on, and we're gonna try to not get shocked when we do this here. There's another small pile of tread-in posts that I've left laying out here for this very event. Throw those all down. So here's how I do this. The cows will be okay. I've got <clears throat> this gate handle attached to my poly wire and all the way across the field up there is another reel that looks just like that one. Uh, and it's hanging on the opposite fence. And what I do is I will give them about uh, two sections here, which is about 20, 21 feet per section, so 40, 42 feet, somewhere in there. And from fence to fence, it's about 500, 550 feet, somewhere in there. I'm not exactly sure, haven't measured it. Um, but, uh, so that's that's around a half acre is uh, is what they're getting, roughly. Um, and that will last them about, I don't know, five days or so. And at the at the pace we're going, uh, we should we should get somewhere around the first of February whenever we have to start feeding hay. So anyway, we'll unhook this and and get back to it. Uh, yeah, there's a good girl. Yeah, boss cow. She is our boss cow right here. She's a good girl. So we'll unhook this. Actually what I'll do is to keep the cows uh, on this side of the wire, that way they don't end up all the way down there at that fence. I'll just hook it on that wire that, that's not uh, got a charge on it. Or, or actually I'll probably move it down here so when I'm done try to slip under it. And then we'll pull the next wire and we'll come back and, and roll all this up. So here we go. So I'll start this wheel by hanging it here, uh, actually on this, this T-post clip. Uh, on this wire that is is grounded. It's not hot uh, That way I can pull it across the field uh, And so I don't get shocked I guess that's that's really the main reason for that. So anyway, here we go So if you look here, underneath all these tall weeds that I probably need to clip with the bush hug, um, you will see there is still some green grass. Here we are, um, the 1st of January, and there is green grass. I'm working on it! Hey! I said I'm working on it! Anyway, there's some green grass in here. Uh, that is still definitely, definitely good for the cows to eat. So, anyway. So once we make it up to the other end, we hook on to a wire that is not hot. And 
we will pull this wire tight. And now that we've got this wire tight, um, even though it's, you know, pretty low in some spots, the cows, they will not cross it. So now what I'll do is I will open up this side and reel this back a ways so that the cows can come through. The next step in the process is to put in our posts. The wire is not exactly straight. I do go around obstacles. So now that I've got all my posts in, I will come back down here and make my connection. Okay, let's put it on this side of the insulator. Now it's hot. And of course, the donkeys have stayed down here. They're still mad at me about buying cows. We'll unhook that one from the fence. We'll make our way back up here, unhook this wire from all the posts, and we'll start reeling this one back up. So I've got two different types of posts that I use. These right here are my preferred posts. Uh, these, um, fiberglass posts with these little clips in them. Uh, they, they seem to hold up a lot better than the plastic tread ends that uh, step in posts, whatever you want to call them, that uh, I had on the other line. Which once those tread ends all break down, I, I will completely replace them with these. I, I just really like these. Of course, I do have some steel posts, uh, like rebar, um, that are basically the same thing as those fiberglass posts and you just use a little little twist on uh, plastic insulators for those um, but I don't have any of those out here right now now that I've got the new fence pulled and the other roll uh, reeled back up. I will bring it over here to the next spot uh, where I will um, pull the next fence or the next move from and just hang it on the fence. Throw my poles, my posts on the ground and everything's ready for me in about five days. That's about all there is to it. So anyway, appreciate everybody watching and uh, see you next time.